Well, on a different day, different surface, when we saw an IPL match at Hyderabad, both the Sunrisers and the Mumbai Indians got to 165 in the 12th over. It's taken CSK, all their top seven, and a real struggle to get to that same score in 20 overs. So, what do we make of this surface? Is that still a competitive score, par, above par? It certainly did surprise Tom Moody, Mitch McClanagan and Wasim Jafar on Maruti Suzuki Arena presents ESPN Rukin for timeout, simply because they all went for scores in excess, in excess of 180. Uh, assuming that even though it's a different surface, it will still play well. How is it played? Tom, you know that surface well. Yeah, well, the, the point I made pre-show was that I, I, just looking at it on the TV screen, it looked a lot bearer and there's a few sort of crazy paving cracks on it. And sometimes when you have a surface like that in Hyderabad, it can be a little bit slow when you take pace off the ball. And I think what we need to do is complement sunrises the way they bowled. Yep. They assess those conditions really, really well and they bowled into the surface um, and, and made it very difficult for you know, CSK to, to get up and running. Well, they got up and running, but to finish that, those last 10 overs as, um, as well as they should have. The other point, though, which I'll, I'll ask my colleagues to, to expand on, is that I was surprised with the batting order in the back 10 overs. Mm. It just seems like they, they made it hard for themselves to search for boundaries. Go on, then. Yeah, well, I guess first I want to touch on the bowling. To have three of your main seamers go under, under 30, going at sevens, Pat Cummings, Boothy and... Uh, no, uh, not yeah. yeah, I think that was exceptional. They read the surface quite early. Uh, I think they had to as well. They had to try that early because uh, Dubey was going so well. But you're right, Tom. Uh, with the way Jadeja batted in the last game, the way Dhoni batted in the last game, and, and then bringing Moeen Ali in, who's a genuine hitter of the ball. And, and you paid big money for Daryl Mitchell to, to be able to come into the middle order and finish games. And, and you put Jadeja above both of those guys... Uh, I did did question that at the time, and I mean the last ball boundary kind of got back to striking a one thirty, but you probably would have wanted a bit more from where they were after twelve overs. They were one hundred and five, and looking like they were going to canter to two hundred. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, they just got a little bit stuck in the middle there. I mean, thirty eight of the last five uh, after being at eight in the power play, Wasim mm -hmm. and Shivam Dubey has still got forty five of twenty four, a strike rate of one eighty seven. Now, how does that make sense? Yeah, I mean, like Mitch said, uh, you know, you would have expected Moin Ali probably to come in or even Daryl Mitchell to have come in earlier. Uh, because uh, when Shivam Dubey got out, it was 119 for 3 or 4 in 13.4. And then they only got 45 runs in the last 6.5 overs. So, the innings didn't get going. Uh, and obviously, you got to give it to SRH how they bowled. Uh, but I think the inning didn't get the momentum that it needed. Yeah, I'm guessing the only reasoning behind it is that they don't see Mo and Ali being in this setup after this mm -hmm. game when, when uh, Musha Fazur and Patirana come back from injury. And maybe they were saying, well, if we're in this position in the future, we need Jadeja to be able to score runs. I, but I think you've got to play the, play the game that's in front of you at the moment. I saw something very unlike CSK, which is perhaps almost an, an obsession or a commitment to have a left and a right hander, which is not what they always do. At the fall of uh, Rahane's wicket, Dubey came in ahead of Mitchell. Right, and you had mm. Dubey and Rahane then go. Yeah. Then at the fall of Dubey's wicket, Jadeja came ahead of Mitchell. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't mind the Dubey move because he's in red hot form. Yeah. He's a yeah. boundary hitter, uh, and you know CSK would have recognised that they need a sizable total at this venue, given what happened in the last game. But I, I I've got a, I've got a not a problem, but I, I, I find it hard to get my head around why Mo and Ali didn't bat in front of Jadeja because yes. Mo and Ali. You know, his career is based around boundary hitting. Yes. Whether he bats at the top of the order, middle, mm -hmm. middle of the order, or the back end, he is known for hitting boundaries. Where Jadeja is a very fine player, but he's not known as a boundary hitter. He's more of a worker and manipulator of the strike. I mean, what you want is Jadeja, he's finished 31 of 23, striker at 135. What you want is guys around him, at least, to sort of do the heavy lifting. Yeah, and he, like he, he, he had his he had his blusters saved a little bit with sure. a boundary misfield off the last ball, so that, that, that sort of yeah. strike rate wouldn't have looked as good if yeah. you if you mm. took that uh, three runs off it. I think the fact also is Basim that Ajinkya Rane came in in the fourth over and went out in the fifteenth. That's eleven overs of play where their decision making has obviously been affected. And Rane has finished thirty five of thirty. It wasn't easy for him. Should it have been given? He came in earlier and looks like that's mm. when you need to cash in. 
I mean, he played most of the part with Dubey, and Dubey was doing all the scoring. Uh, but I think he needed to probably get his strike rate up a little bit more. Uh, but I think the inning did get the momentum after Dubey got out, and that that was part of the problem. Let's talk about the bowling, though. It's pretty good, wasn't it? Uh, Unatkar seems to have found some love at this franchise, and he might find some more if this is how these surfaces play. Oh, yeah, definitely. He'll enjoy bowling on surfaces like that because he's got a good change of pace. He's got that good into the into the surface slower ball. Um, you know, his position was sort of 50-50 today, I thought, in the side. Yeah. You know, I, I said that I thought Umran Malik, you know, should have played in front of him for the impact. But, you know, clearly Sunrisers have got it right. They've yeah. read the surface, realised that you don't want to give the batter pace. You want to take the pace away from the batsman. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, you know, from a selection point of view, they've got that absolutely right. Um, but, yeah, he, you know, it's nice to see him do well, you know, because he's had an interesting IPL journey. Yes. Um, you know, a, a, a lot of ups, more so at the auction table, and mm. quite a few downs, you know, out mm. there competing. Yeah, I'm just going to save uh, some conversations perhaps for the end of the game. The use of spin from Pat Cummins. Pat Cummins, the bowler himself. Bhuvaneshwar Kumar, very good today too, used differently perhaps. Uh, but we can just confirm that the chase is almost underway. Natarajan has been subbed off. In comes Travis Head. We knew that was going to happen. And Mukesh Chaudhary has been subbed in for the Super Kings. Out goes Shivam Dubey after what was the most significant innings by a CSK player in that first innings. Now, they only bowled uh, two and one, three and one. Four overs of spin in that innings did the Sunrisers. And Markande was taken down two overs, one for 21. Shabazz and Abhishek Sharma, interesting use of them, but they... Uh, are two overs, one for 18 between them. Now, CSK have gone spin-heavy. Do we see spin playing a part here? Because it didn't look like it did in the first innings. Mitch? Well, yeah, they've set themselves up that way. And look, we didn't see a lot of turn in the first first innings. But I think like the likes of Teague Shana and Jadeja are pretty wily characters. So uh, I'd imagine they'll bowl a little bit better than, uh, than the Sunrise's spinners did. But look, it's to be seen. And, and if they get taken after... Abhishek Sharma's, uh, you know, it's a good matchup for him. Uh, so it, it'll be interesting to see if uh, if they take down the spinners, if the the young Indian bowling lineup can actually uh, uh, be a, yeah. be an effective one. They've started with Deepak Chahar, and they almost had the perfect start, but a tough chance has gone down. It's slipped by Moeen Ali. It's very generous saying tough chance. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I think as a as a non cricketer, it is my duty to make sure that I never make the game. Seem easy. Yeah, it's, Look, yeah, he didn't uh, see it at all. Uh, he didn't see it. Well, if you don't see it, it's always tough. <laughs> it's very tough if you haven't got your eyes open. <laughs> yeah. Stop it, Just Tom. Just straight here. Yeah. <laughs> and who picked Deepak Chahar amongst the three of you? 